Hey campers, Patrick with Uncle Bill's Camping, and today we're going to be talking about something that everybody loves. This is walkie-talkies, or more specifically, the Bofang BF88S two-way radio system. Now, I picked this up off of Amazon, and I got this mainly um, just to have something that was a little bit less complicated than the radio setup that I have right now. I actually had started out with the big brother of this system, and um, is uh, pretty much an all-in-one handheld ham radio uh, setup, which is very complicated. And I saw I wanted something a little bit easier to uh, to use when I went camping, something my wife could use, something the kids could use, and uh, come across this. One of the things I like about this is, you know, first of all, it has a ton of really good reviews, but it's very, very simple to use. It's a 16 channel setup. It's kind of foolproof. You know, it's very simple. When you open up the box, you're going to see that it has a couple of basic things in here that you would expect to come with most radio systems. Of course, you got the instruction manuals. Um, this is just going to cover your basic functionality, the buttons, and um, it's going to, you know, some referrals to, you know, the actual software you're going to use, a programming cable and a software disk. You know, that's pretty much going to be for the drivers putting it on your computer. You have these cables you can attach to carry cables. Nobody ever really uses those things. Something I thought was pretty cool is that it actually has headsets that come with it. You know, these are for Vox for you to be able to plug in, you know, the microphone in your piece. It comes with two chargers, two radios, two batteries, two antennas. I, I did open this up already and take most of the plastic off of this stuff, so I didn't spend most of my time unwrapping it. But it comes packaged very neatly. Never had a problem out of uh, Bofang radios as far as, you know, getting broken items or anything like that so you know we'll move on and we'll actually take a look at the radio now the radio itself is nothing special to look at comes in a, a pretty durable plastic case here you know when, as soon as you turn power on it's going to indicate it's going to tell you that the power is on it's also going to tell you what channel you're on uh, you have the rubber case here on the side of the rubber door it's for uh, you know where you're going to plug your headphones into and on the opposite side you're going to have a few buttons here you got your push to talk button which is what you're mostly going to do, especially, you know, if you're familiar with walkie talkies. Uh, it also has at the bottom left a uh, orange button. That's basically going to turn your, it's your function button. And uh, if you tap that, it's going to turn the flashlight on. It's going to be constant. You tap it again, you're going to get a flash. Tap it again, it's going to turn off. Uh, above that is another orange button. That is your squelch delete. Now, this comes pre programmed uh, with a certain squelch level. And the only way that you can actually change that squelch level is to go into the software. And that is using the software cable that's provided to uh, change it. But it's set at a pretty good rate. Now, if you actually tap that top orange button, that's your squelch delete. That's going to turn the squelch off so you can hear what's going on on any channel um, without the squelch on there. And like I said before, this is a 16 channel radio. 15 of these are just going to be selectable channels. You can use the 16th channel. It's going to scan the other 15 channels, which is pretty neat. Now, with all that being said, here's the big argument with this radio that you're going to see. Uh, one of the reasons that this works so well is because it is an FM transmitter radio. And it runs somewhere between the 400, 470 megahertz radio, which kind of puts you um, at, in, you know, at odds with the law to say that if you don't have a ham radio license, technically you should not be using this radio. You can have this to listen to and to receive, but to transmit, you need the ham radio license. Now, this only operates at 5 watts, and I've heard a lot of people actually say it's more comparable to 3 watts. I've never really heard of anybody getting in trouble, but the law is the law, and you could technically get in trouble for using this. Um, I've never really heard of it, but you could. Well, something I really did like about this radio and what caused me to buy it was, as I said before, I kind of had the big brother to this radio and it was a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. I wanted something for two-way communication and I kind of used my sister and her husband as a guinea pig because they're retired and they have an RV and they spend a lot of time throughout the year on the road and, uh, you know, they tow a boat with their RV and one of them is actually usually driving their uh, around town vehicle behind that and they had been using regular walkie talkies like Unidens and Motorola's things like that you would uh, you know just buy at some of your box stores and I got them these and they bragged on them about how great these were and how, what kind of reception they got so you know it kind of led me to uh, think well maybe I need to get a pair now fortunately you know, unfortunately for them, they lost theirs. <laughs> so I decided to get them another set for Christmas, got myself a set also. Through testing these, I found that, you know, you can easily get a couple mile range out of these in an open area. If you're out in the country, flatlands, no obstructions, you get a couple miles easy out of these. Inside the city where I live, you could get about a half mile. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but inside the city, 
and you have a lot of buildings, a lot of power lines, a lot of structures, a half a mile is actually pretty good range on these. Anybody that's had the other walkie-talkies that you're going to buy, uh, you know, that are operating on the Citizen Band, you know, you get a block away from your house, you're probably going to lose range inside the city. So a half mile with one of these is pretty good. You know, it really one of the most basic radios you could get, but you know, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. The other thing I really like about this is the fact that most camp campsites you're going to go to probably not going to have that great of cell service or Wi-Fi unless you're going to like a snowbird campground down in Florida or something that caters more to the RV set. Um, if you're really out there in the woods or, uh, you know, you're doing backcountry or primitive camping, chances are you're in an area where cell towers, uh, they're just not that many and you're going to have a poor signal. Having something like this allows you to be able to communicate with your kids, allows you to be able to communicate, you know, with the people you're camping with. If you're out on the boat there at the campsite or you want to let the kids roam around, you need a way to get a hold of them or if the kids just want to run off in the woods you know, and, and talk to each other on the radio. This is the setup to have. You're basically getting a very high-end function radio at a very low-end price. You know, at 24 bucks, these things are going to function very well. But if you lose one or you break one, you're not breaking the bank. And that's what I really like about this. Now, going back to the fact that it, uh, you might need a ham radio license to use this, you know, that is definitely the case. I would advise that if you are interested in using these, go ahead and get your ham radio license. Um, they don't. I don't even think they put Morse code on the ham radio test anymore. And you know that's one of the things I think most people got hung up on in the past. So you know it would be worth it just to have it. This is a good thing to have around the house if you're going to have, God forbid, some kind of natural disaster, tornado, massive power outage, bad storm roll through. You know you at least have a way of. Um, communicating with each other if there's a cell tower down and you know you have to leave the house somebody needs to get a hold of you or you know you need to make the block or you have to be out and be able to communicate with people i would definitely say to invest in this kind of radio system uh you know like i said go to amazon check it out it's 24 something dollars you know 25 great reviews and uh, you know i hope you found this video helpful if you did Please drop a like down there, leave a comment, let me know I'm doing good, or subscribe even. And from Uncle Bill's Camping, this is Patrick. Thank you for taking a look at my video.